This video covers uses and limitations of the laryngeal mask and demonstrates insertion and removal of the device. The laryngeal mask is an alternative airway when mask ventilation and endotracheal intubation are unsuccessful or not feasible. Although laryngeal mask insertion is consistent with the general guidelines for nurses and respiratory care practitioners, check with your state licensing board and your hospital's guidelines for performing this skill. Consider the laryngeal mask when, for whatever reason, you can't ventilate and can't intubate, when resuscitating a newborn with congenital anomalies involving the mouth, lip, tongue, palate, or neck, and when attempting to ventilate a newborn with a small mandible or large tongue, where face mask ventilation and intubation are unsuccessful. Examples include Roban sequence and trisomy 21. The laryngeal mask has limitations. Currently, the smallest size laryngeal mask is intended for use in babies who weigh more than about 2,000 grams. However, many reports describe its use in babies who weigh about 1,500 grams. The device has not been studied for suctioning secretions from the airway. High ventilation pressures may result in air leakage through the seal, resulting in insufficient pressure to ventilate the lungs. Few reports describe the use of a laryngeal mask during chest compressions. However, if necessary, it is reasonable to attempt compressions with a laryngeal mask in place. There is insufficient evidence to recommend using a laryngeal mask to administer intratracheal medications. Consider keeping a few size 1 laryngeal masks where one is immediately available for use, not locked inside a code cart or emergency supply box. If the mask is inserted without delay, it may provide effective ventilation in time to help avoid a complex resuscitation. The following segment demonstrates the insertion of a size 1 laryngeal mask. This laryngeal mask has no inflation cuff and no port for an orogastric tube. This newborn of 35 weeks gestation has proven difficult to ventilate. The second intubation attempt has failed. The team decides to insert a laryngeal mask. They have attempted PPV several times, so the baby's stomach may be distended with air. The team quickly inserts an oral gastric tube to decompress the stomach. Stand at the baby's head and position the head in sniffing position. Hold the device in your right or left hand as shown, so that during insertion, the hard part of the curved tubing will slide along the hard palate. Gently open the mouth and press the leading tip of the mask against the baby's hard palate on top of the baby's tongue. Maintain pressure against the palate and advance the device inward so that it follows the contour of the mouth and palate until you feel resistance. Attach a CO2 detector and connect the PPV device. After insertion, you should see bilateral chest movement with ventilation and hear equal breath sounds. If this intervention is successful, you should notice an increasing heart rate and oxygen saturation. By the time you've given 8 to 10 breaths, the CO2 detector should turn yellow as it detects exhaled CO2. Now watch as the laryngeal mask is inserted in real time. Secure the laryngeal mask with tape. Monitor the heart rate, oxygen saturation, breathing, and muscle tone. The newborn can cry and make sounds with the laryngeal mask in place. If you decide to remove the laryngeal mask, suction secretions from the mouth and throat, then remove the device. Monitor heart rate, breathing, and oxygen saturation. Now the team will insert a laryngeal mask that does have an inflation cuff. This mask also has a gastric port that allows insertion of an OG tube after the laryngeal mask is in place. The team is ready to insert the laryngeal mask. Quickly inspect the mask and ensure that all the material is intact without tears or kinks. Attach a syringe to the inflation port and completely deflate the cuff surrounding the mask. Maintaining tension, disconnect the syringe. Stand at the baby's head and position the head in sniffing position. 
Hold the device in your right or left hand as shown so that during insertion, the hard part of the curved tubing will slide along the hard palate. Gently open the mouth and press the leading tip of the mask against the hard palate on top of the tongue. While maintaining pressure against the palate, advance the mask along the contour of the mouth and palate until you feel resistance. Inflate the cuff to achieve a seal. The device may move slightly outward when it's inflated. Assess inflation by feeling the pilot balloon. Never inflate the mask with more than the manufacturer's recommended volume of air. Attach a PPV device and CO2 detector and begin PPV. Assess for chest movement and equal breath sounds. If ventilation is successful, the heart rate and oxygen saturation should increase. By the time you've given 8 to 10 breaths, the CO2 detector should turn yellow as it detects exhaled CO2. Secure the laryngeal mask and monitor the newborn's heart rate, oxygen saturation, breathing, and muscle tone. This laryngeal mask has a port for insertion of an OG tube. Measure to determine the correct depth of the OG tube and insert it down the port. Aspirate the air and stomach contents and leave the tube open as a vent. If you decide to remove the laryngeal mask, suction secretions from the mouth and throat, attach a syringe and deflate the cuff, then remove the device. Monitor heart rate, breathing, and oxygen saturation.